split is back along with a few tweaks that attempt to make attacking on the map a little bit easier. If you started playing Valorant after a split was removed, the map was known for being very defensive sided. These changes, although minor, seem to have adjusted some of the pain points attackers felt before its exit. Back in the golden age when Astra had 5 stars, she dominated on this map. So does that still hold up today? Well, I wouldn't have made this guide if that weren't the case. Her flexibility on split allows your team to take control of areas better than other controllers, and her ability to react to any given scenario is second to none. I know your time is precious, so I won't waste any more of it. I'm chill and let's get into it. Let's start with your attack strategy. You will generally want to take mid control on split since this area can quickly get you into the tower positions at A and B. This is strong due to the high ground areas above each spike site. The chokes leading into A and B are narrow, so getting through them may require a more significant investment into utility and can be more dangerous if the execution isn't strong. Unlike A, B only has one lane leading to site from garage. Routing through garage and mid can be key to effectively taking the site. A allows for a heaven A main split to hit site, so stacking 5A is more doable on this side of the map. In most cases, you will want to have some mid presence due to how quickly defenders can rotate between sites. This can also allow Ashra to get some nasty lurks in mid while her team takes A. Lurking late into the round when your team has taken a site is strong on this map, so look for those opportunities as Ashra. I'll talk more about lurking in a bit. Now that we have a basic understanding of how the map plays out, let's quickly talk about pistol round buys and setups to win that crucial first round on attack. On pistol round, I suggest buying 2 stars for a total of 3 and either Frenzy or Ghost. I prefer using a Frenzy on this map since there are a lot of close quarters fights, especially when taking mid. Although, if you're more comfortable with the Ghost, that's a great alternative pick. In terms of ability usage, you want to try to have 2 smoke stars for your site execute, whether that screens in heaven at A or heaven in spawn at B. If you're taking mid, you can use a smoke star at ropes and can cuss or suck star in mail. It will depend on where your team is heading, so these stars can be used more reactively. The third star can be a flex star, either for post plant suck or an extra smoke. Alright, let's talk about your default setup on attack. Like I said earlier, taking mid control at the beginning of most rounds will give your team more opportunity to take control of A and B from the tower positions. That being said, you'll want to use your stars in ropes and mail. The rope star and mail star can be interchangeable as smokes depending on what area you want to push into. Usually you'll want to smoke off ropes first and then concuss or suck mail since this is a common spot for defenders to check if there's any mid pressure. This is Sage's favorite place to play on defense defense since she can wall mid. If that wall comes in early, wait to smoke ropes since she's going to utility dump mid. If the wall is there, then there's no point in wasting your smoke. Wait until the util dump is over and then smoke to get the most value out of it. Sometimes you can put 3 stars mid, which seems like a lot, but for good reason. Putting 1 star ropes, 1 mail, and 1 top stairs can help you fight mid even more effectively. The mail star can either be used as a concuss or suck, or you can recall the star to push past mail and play in this corner. Peeking from here may surprise the heaven player. The star at the top can be used as a suck to pull defenders into it or turn it into a smoke so you can head into ropes. Alternatively, you can let your team make noise in ropes while you hold mail for any defenders looking to rotate through mid and catch them off guard. Once your team decides where they want to go, use your remaining star or stars to smoke off defender chokes in heaven areas or spawn chokes on A or B. This is generally how you want to play default on split. When attacking A, your smokes can go into heaven and screens. Make sure they're placed deep into the doorways so defenders don't have a chance to use your smokes as cover. If some of your teammates want to split A by going up ramp into heaven, you can smoke heaven spawn instead and keep the screen smoke the same. If you have someone on your team with a movement ability like jet or raise, you can help them take ramp control by putting a suck or concuss star at the top of ramp as soon as the round starts. Now, if you can, I suggest planting the spike for heaven in front of this planter so you don't have to play uncomfortably on site for post plant. Sometimes that's not an option so it depends on the situation. Let's say you planted for heaven. You can use that last star or two to pull the diffuser off spike which allows you to play A main or heaven. If the spike is planted safe you can do the same but I would 
try to make it so they get pulled into the open from either the pillar plant spot or map spot. You can also re-smoke heaven or screens depending on where you need it. Heading over to B, your two smokes can go heaven and spawn. Pretty straightforward spots. Like I said earlier, hitting B may require some mid presence or mid lurk, so a smoke can help you move up and split B with your team. Depending on the situation, you may need to use smokes more reactively on B. To help your team get on site, you can always place a suck or concuss star behind the wooden sign or site to deter defenders from peeking from these angles. Similar to A, you'll want to try and plant out in the open to have an easier time with post plant. Planting metal box is safe, but it's not the best when you want to play post plant in garage, even with a gravity well to assist you. Planting on this back left corner in the open is your objective on B. Let's talk about the importance of lurking as Astra and how you can incorporate it into your attack. There are several different areas you can lurk on split to get information on defender positions for your teammates as well as a pick or two. When your team is hitting A or B together, you can use mid to listen for defender rotations and sneak up behind them when your team is executing. You usually don't want to be on the complete opposite side of the map from your team. For example, you are lurking garage and your whole team is hitting A. This is because even if you have a timing, it may be too late by the time you rotate through defender positions. It's better to play the mid lurk if your team is hitting A or B. Make sure before you begin your lurk, you have stars in place for your teammates so you don't have to worry about going into astral form during the site execute. The timing of your lurk is super important and if done too early, the defenders may still be wary of attackers moving through mid. Waiting for your teammates to get a pick and move on to site before starting your lurk is usually a good time to do it. The more the defender's attention is pulled towards the site, the better odds you have of a successful lurk. I'll show off a couple clips from 100 Thieves pro player Bang to demonstrate the power of the Astra Lurk on Split. In this clip, Bang comms that he will Lurk as his team moves into position to hit A. Actually, uh, do we have I? I'm gonna Lurk, I'm gonna Lurk, you guys go. Uh, I don't have I, but I- He smokes Heaven spawn in screens to sell the commit to an A hit further. Even more, he recalls his star mid which completely fools the Yoru, netting Bang a free kill and giving his team a numbers advantage. After the pick, he doesn't get greedy by going ropes and instead falls back to sewers to make sure he doesn't throw his life away and is there for post plant. When your team is fighting mid and you decide to lurk B, you can hold a slight angle outside of garage to wait for defenders trying to gain some early info. If you hear the B player running away from garage, you can potentially get a timing here and tell your mid teammates to hit B. This greatly depends on what defender is on B, so if it's someone like Cypher, I wouldn't recommend this lurk since it's more dangerous due to traps and the camera. Here's another great example from Bang to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Notice how he comes to his teammates to come back from mid through garage to hit B. Wait, come back B, come back B, come back B right now. Communication here is essential because without it, Bang's teammates may have continued fighting mid, potentially losing the battle, and Bang is left alone to win the round. When lurking A while your team is mid, you can use your regular mid smokes and watch the minimap or listen to team comms for when to smoke and use your mail star. At A, you can listen and watch for the A player to rotate into screens. Working up ramp is the best way to lurk A since it offers easy rotation through ropes into mid to help your team hit B, or this can be used as a pinch if you're your team wants to hit A. Providing your team with info about A players can help them make this decision. Here's an example of what this may look like from pro player Sugar Zero. It's a pretty easy game for his team, so this lurk may seem unnecessary, but it's a solid example of what this lurk could look like. One final note on lurking, you don't want to do it every round, but you can occasionally use your lurk to get more info and keep the defenders on their toes to open up the round on attack. A successful kill on a lurk can cause defenders to panic and be used to misdirect their attention while your team hits another site. Make sure not to overextend, especially after getting a kill, as this is the easiest way to throw away a successful lurk. Now let's go over some cosmic divide positions on attack. There are two walls I would typically use for executing A. This first one cuts off top of ramps, heaven, and back of screens. For this one, you will need to use a smoke for screens, but it allows you more space to work with, and you can take control of screens as a nice bonus. If you need the wall to block off screens, you can angle it by aiming at the edge of the heaven ledge and ending it on the right side of the screen's doorway. You can also use a concuss and grab well behind the map and an elbow to help your team fully clear A. Just be aware of defenders sneaking behind the wall near screens. When hitting B from garage, you can place your wall vertically, splitting B in half. Make sure to place the wall behind the metal box at the default plant spot so you have more room to work with. If it's further back on site, defenders can play behind the metal box and surprise you as the plant goes down. Make sure to plant the spike in the open at the back left corner of the site so you can play in garage for post plant. 
For a mid to A wall, I'd suggest doing a simple one that cuts off heaven spawn and screens so you can take control of a heaven and get on site without worrying about the screens defender. Plant for heaven and you can maintain a strong post plant position here. If you're taking mid control, a great wall you can use to go B cuts off ropes, back of heaven, and spawn allowing for an easy path to B. Make sure that it's deep enough so the rafters player can hide in the corner on top or bottom. You can use your concuss and suck where defenders typically play which is usually behind pillar or back B. Now let's switch sides and talk about your defense strategy. Generally speaking, using two or three stars pre-round, saving one or two stars that can be used reactively will be the best strategy on defense. Deciding where to play as Ashra on defense will depend on a few things. I believe it's simpler to play towards B, whether on site or in B heaven. However, if you have agents like Cypher and Sage or Killjoy and Sage playing B in mid, you'll most likely want to play over on A site. In terms of default stars, this will depend on attacker patterns throughout the half and your team's utility. Generally, default stars can be placed in garage and the A main choke towards site. These two stars can be quickly activated into smokes. As I said on attack, mid control is important, so if you find the attackers are contesting mid often, you can place a star there to deter scaling through this area. When attackers are hitting a site you're not playing, ask your teammates to calm the smoke and grab well as they need it. You can use your minimap if your teammates see attackers to know when to gravity well. Retaking on split is pretty powerful and preventing them from planting in the open is one of the goals you want to have as a defender on this map. It's much harder for the attackers to prevent a defuse if they plant safe, so keep that in mind on defense. If the attackers are hitting A, there are two different smokes you can use. The first is this smoke deeper into A main which can be combined with a gravity well that both the defender playing top ramps and sight can see. This could set up a nasty crossfire if the attackers push through the smoke. The other is a smoke that you can place in the A main choke towards sight. The nice thing about this smoke is you can place a grav wall next to the ramp that is difficult for the attackers to see as they push through the smoke. You will need to be wary of attackers pushing up ramps so smoking the doorway to heaven may be necessary here. Communicate with your A teammate which smoke they want and make sure to call out your gravity well. There are other tactics you can use here like baiting the attackers into pushing behind your smoke, only that smoke is a recall star which gives them the illusion of safety. You can give yourself peekers advantage by peeking after you recall the smoke and catch the attackers off guard. Make sure to have a smoke further up in A main so you can quickly activate it if they push A quickly. Retaking will depend on how many stars you have left. In most cases this will be one or two. Where you use your stars will depend on what information you have on the attackers and where the spike is planted. If you know they planted safe on A, you can usually assume they are playing on site since it is tough to defend spike from A main or heaven. If that's the case, using a concuss and suck in elbow and behind map can be very strong. If the spike is planted for heaven, smoking heaven and spawn, or even just smoking the spike may be your best bet. Another common spot players like to play is hell, so placing a suck or concuss there isn't a bad idea either. Over on B site, your smoke star can be placed in the garage choke along with a grav well. A typical play you'll see if the attackers have a sage is for her to use her wall to cross over to site using it as cover. When this happens and you or your teammate is playing on site you can smoke between pillar and the wooden sign to essentially box in the attackers making it very difficult to know where you're playing on site. When the attackers attempt to plant they will typically use the default spot behind the metal box or the far left corner of site to play post plant in garage. If you're playing heaven or spawn you have some devious stars available. Placing a star just off the sight line can reach both plant spots. This can be used to pull the planter off site out into the open for your team to kill the planter from spawn or heaven. If you have a big numbers advantage you can recall this star from the same position to sneak up on the planter, get the pick, and hopefully fall back behind the metal box or pillar. But this is a little riskier. For the B retake, attackers typically play behind pillar, back B, and garage. This will again depend on where the spike is planted. If the spike is planted safe behind box, the the attackers are most likely on site and may have one watching flank and garage. If the spike is planted safe, you can concuss and grab well behind pillar and back B. If it's planted for garage, you can either smoke garage or the spike itself and use the other star for pillar or back B depending on the information you have. If you're playing in B heaven or ropes, you can have your smoke placed on the stairs in mid or further back towards the wooden sign. If placed further back, you can sneak up by the drop down where you'll have this sneaky little angle above the smoke that you can use to pick off unsuspecting enemies. It's a bit risky, but it can work once or twice a game. Another great 
great star you can use for the mid push is right at the top of stairs in B Heaven. This star can catch attackers moving through mail to heaven and be used as a suck. This suck can also be combined with a raise nade or other molly ability. This is a good spot to play as Ashra if you don't have a sage playing mid or they're playing at another site. Your walls on defense can be used mostly for post-plant situations to help your team defuse the spike. I usually wouldn't use the wall to prevent attackers from pushing onto site as they can easily rotate away from the site and push somewhere else super quick since the wall dampens footstep audio. That being said, let's take a look at where to place the wall on A for post-plant. When retaking A, you'll first want to identify where the spike is planted, but if you're not sure, you can angle the wall from screens to the front corner of A site, which allows you to enter site from screens through elbow without being seen from head heaven, hell, or A main. If you already have sight, you can wall off the entire area like this. When retaking B, I would almost always use this wall that is in line with the back of pillar, cutting off garage and back B. You'll want a teammate with you so one of you can watch cross through the wall while you defuse. But this one is tough to deal with as an attacker. And that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully this guide gave you some tools to use as Ashra on the returning map. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. Comment below what you want to see from me next and subscribe for more guides like this one. If you're looking for another Ashra, guide you can check out this one next thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace